Have you ever wondered where we, as humans, truly come from? We generally consider ourselves the pinnacle of evolution, but our journey to this point is a fascinating tale of survival and adaptation. Our story begins with an ancient ancestor known as Sahelanthropus tetradensis. This species, which lived about 7 million years ago, is the oldest known hominid. Fossils found in Chad, Central Africa, suggest that Sahelanthropus might have been able to walk on two legs, a significant departure from our ape-like cousins who primarily moved around in trees. As we move forward in time, we encounter a species known as Artipithecus, which lived between 4 and 6 million years ago. Artipithecus displayed a mix of traits, while it still retained some ape-like features, such as a small brain size and a grasping big toe used for climbing trees, it also had traits more similar to us. Notably, it had a pelvis and leg bones that suggest it could walk upright, at least some of the time. The evolutionary baton then passed to the Australopithecus species, which thrived between 2 and 4 million years ago. Australopithecus was more human-like than its predecessors. It was fully bipedal, meaning it walked on two feet just like us. This was a giant leap in human evolution, as it freed up the hands for using tools and carrying food, which in turn may have driven the development of larger, more complex brains. But it wasn't just physiological changes that marked our progression. Our ancestors started to show signs of cognitive advancements too. We see the first glimmers of this in the Australopithecus species, where the increase in brain size suggests a heightened cognitive ability. This journey from Sahelanthropus to Australopithecus represents a remarkable transformation. From a creature that was more ape than human, we slowly but surely began to take on the characteristics that define us today. It's a testament to the power of evolution and how it shapes every living thing on this planet. From these humble beginnings, humans started to climb the evolutionary ladder. As evolution pushed forward, we saw the rise of Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Around 2 million years ago, the Homo habilis species emerged, marking a significant step in human evolution. Dubbed Handyman, Homo habilis is known for its tool-making abilities. The tools, often made from stone, were used for various tasks such as cutting meat and cracking open bones. This innovative ability to use tools was a major leap forward, setting them apart from their predecessors. The Homo habilis species were not just tool makers, but also social creatures. They lived in groups and had a more complex social structure compared to earlier hominins. This social nature likely played a crucial role in their survival, enabling them to defend against predators and share resources. Not long after the rise of Homo habilis, another significant species emerged, the Homo erectus. With a larger brain and a more human-like body structure, Homo erectus was well-equipped for survival. They were the first of our ancestors to walk fully upright, a key evolutionary trait that freed their hands for tool use and other tasks. Homo erectus was also the first hominin species to venture out of Africa, marking the beginning of human migration. They spread across Eurasia, adapting to diverse environments from tropical forests to cold, harsh climates. This migration was a testament to their adaptability and resilience, key traits that have defined human evolution. The Homo erectus species were also advanced tool makers, crafting more complex tools than their Homo habilis counterparts. They used fire for warmth, cooking and protection, showcasing their ability to harness and control natural elements. Through these evolutionary steps, the Homo habilis and Homo erectus species paved the way for more advanced hominins. Their use of tools, social structures, and the ability to adapt to different environments were significant milestones in human evolution. These evolutionary leaps brought us closer to the humans we recognize today. As millennia passed, two dominant species of humans emerged, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. These two species, while distinctly different, shared a common heritage, and for a time, they shared the Earth. Neanderthals, robust and adapted to the cold, thrived in the challenging climates of Ice Age Europe. Their stocky bodies and large noses were evolution's response to the frigid temperatures, Meanwhile, Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors, were making their way in the world. Graceful and adaptable, they were a new kind of human, one that was not just surviving but thriving. Their bodies were leaner, their brains larger, and they possessed an uncanny ability to innovate and create. Their paths crossed in Europe and Asia, and for millennia, they coexisted. It was a time when the Earth was home to multiple human species, a concept that seems almost fantastical to us today. The relationship between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens was complex, 
There was competition undoubtedly as they vied for the same resources, but there was also interaction and even interbreeding. Yes, many of us carry a small percentage of Neanderthal DNA, a relic of this ancient coexistence. But over time the balance shifted. As the climate changed, Homo sapiens proved to be more adaptable. They developed new tools, new ways of hunting, and new ways of living in the changing world. They spread out, colonizing new lands, while the Neanderthals, once masters of their domain, began to diminish. The reasons for the Neanderthals' decline are still debated. Was it competition with Homo sapiens, climate change, or perhaps a combination of factors? We may never know for certain, but what we do know is that around 40,000 years ago, the last of the Neanderthals vanished from the world. In the end, only one species remained, Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors. Their survival marked a significant turning point in the story of human evolution, a story that continues to unfold even today. With the stage set by evolution, the dawn of civilization was upon us. As our ancestors stepped into this new era, they were no longer just survivors, but innovators, creators, and thinkers. Their lives were about to change dramatically and with them, the entire world. The first of these monumental leaps forward was the invention of agriculture. This wasn't just about growing a few crops, it was a fundamental shift in how humans interacted with their environment. Instead of roaming the land in search of food, they began to control its production, leading to an increased food supply and population growth. The surplus of food allowed people to settle down, giving birth to the next major milestone, the rise of cities. Now imagine the first city dwellers living in close proximity with their neighbors, sharing resources, ideas, and dreams. These were the first urban communities, the precursors to the vibrant cities we know today. The city was more than just a collection of dwellings. It was a complex social structure, a hub of trade, culture, and power. As societies grew more complex, so did the need for communication and record keeping. This need gave birth to one of the most transformative inventions in human history, writing. The first written symbols were simple markings used to keep track of goods and transactions. But soon, these symbols evolved into a system capable of expressing abstract ideas, stories, laws, and beliefs. Writing made it possible to pass down knowledge across generations, enabling the accumulation of wisdom and the growth of civilization. But let's not forget, these monumental advancements didn't happen overnight. They were the result of countless generations of trial and error, of innovation and adaptation. They were born out of our ancestors' curiosity, their resilience, and their ambition. These developments have shaped the world we live in today. From the first seeds sown in the ground to the sprawling cities filled with millions of people, from the first simple markings to the profound words that have shaped our thoughts and beliefs, these milestones mark the journey of our species from surviving to thriving. The dawn of civilization was not just the start of a new chapter in human history, it was the beginning of the world as we know it. But where is evolution taking us? What does the future hold for our species? As we gaze into the crystal ball of future human evolution, we are met with a thrilling panorama of possibilities. The next stage of our evolution may not be a product of natural selection alone, but rather a testament to our ingenuity and technological prowess. Imagine a world where we are not bound by the limitations of our biology. Genetic engineering could allow us to tailor our genes, enhancing our physical and cognitive abilities, or even eliminating genetic diseases. We could engineer ourselves to live longer, think faster, perceive more acutely. We could become architects of our own evolution, sculpting our genetic destiny with the precision of a master craftsman. But our future evolution isn't confined to our biological selves. The rise of artificial intelligence opens up a new dimension of possibility. Could we merge with machines, transcending our biological roots to become something more, something post-human? As we integrate AI into our lives, we may find our minds expanding in ways we can scarcely imagine. Our thoughts reaching out across digital landscapes, our consciousness not confined to the fleshy confines of our skulls. And then there's space, the final frontier. Our future evolution may be driven by our quest to colonize the cosmos. How might the challenges of space travel and life on other planets shape us? Could we adapt to survive in zero gravity or on planets with harsh climates? Might we evolve to become a multi-planetary species, our genetic material scattered across the stars? The future of human evolution is a tapestry woven with threads of science, technology, and the indomitable human spirit. 
It's a journey into the unknown, a voyage into uncharted territories of the self and the universe. Only time will unravel the next chapter of human evolution. As we continue to push the boundaries of what it means to be human, we write our own evolutionary destiny, a testament to our resilience, adaptability, and thirst for knowledge.